Welcome back to Katia's Buzz. Today I'm going to show you some tricks on how not to lose your data. There are some very specific ways you can keep everything safe and not ever lose those important documents that you have to use again in the future. So I'm going to go from the easiest to the most difficult. First of all, you need to learn to save your data all the time. It becomes second nature. You go to Photoshop, you change the colors, click save. You change the location of a thing, click save. I do it completely without thought. You just, every time you move something, save, save, save. You can always retrace, Control z Control z Control z Control shift z Control shift z and you go back if this were to happen. So that's step one. You always need to save your progress. You also should take advantage of every software's preference and make an autosave. Every five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it depends on how you like to work. It sometimes slows the process, but I would recommend it doesn't matter if it slows it down, it can save your ass. So do it every five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes is almost too much. So make sure you go to the preferences and update it so that it auto saves your documents. Also take a minute to subscribe to my channel. As you probably see, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I am so excited. It's thanks to all of you for taking a minute to subscribe. So thank you, press subscribe. And also if you like the information in that video, take a second and like it. And leave me a comment, even if it's to put your name and let me know that you subscribe to my channel, I will definitely go check you out and I will respond to any questions you have for me. Now let's go back to that data security. When you do a large project, a graphic, a video, at some point where you don't, you're, you're kind of like in between decisions and you don't know if what you're going to do is going to be good or bad and you may want to go back to where you are now, I always do save a copy and then I save that copy and I call it D1, which implies draft one. And I continue my progress and if I like it, then it becomes D2. A little bit later on, if I have another suggestion, I may save it as D2 d3, d4, d5, and it goes that way. Once you are done with your files, you also want to export them and to keep the progress of your exports just in case you want to show the person you work for different versions of your work. So again, I use the same kind of system. I export d1, d2, d3, and then when I know we're about final, when I have all the edits taken care of and people have told me I want it this way, I want it that way, you know, however it goes, um, when I know it's the final versions, because it's never quite the final until it's the final, I start exporting as F, F1, F2 for final, final one, final two. And then I know if I ever go back to a file from two years ago, I kind of know that this is how it works. And so I look at the F latest version and I know that that will be my absolute final and that's the one I exported and shared with everyone. So this is a good tip, I hope you like it. I always use two external drives and usually they're like this, uh, five terabytes, three terabytes, five terabytes. This one is five terabytes and I sync them, which means whenever I make any edit on this one, it automatically saves on the other one. I usually find a software that allows me to sync them every five minutes or so. Every time it doesn't work, I lose data. It's the weirdest thing. The moment this thing stops working is when something goes wrong, my, my drive dies, and I lose a day's worth of data. <sighs> Never fun. So um, you always want to sync whatever you're working on. You can also sync to a cloud like Dropbox or Google Drive. Uh, there are limitations with that. It's probably a little slower and it's also a little bit more risky for hackers to access your data. So depending on what you do, uh, it may or may not be the best choice. Also, you want to make sure that whatever you use is connected at a very fast speed. Particularly if you do video editing, if you're going to video edit on the fly on a USB port, 
think again, it ain't gonna happen. If you're ever worried about dragging and not being able to render and all that, that's what you have to do. So make sure uh, you get a very good connection, the fastest possible connection, anything that's super fast that connects your machine uh, very quickly, which is why I don't recommend using Dropbox or Google Drive or anything that's in the cloud for anything other than like a backup. And even then, because it requires Wi-Fi or unless you have a connection on the internet or on the ethernet, but even then it's a lot slower than it would be local. So that's how I choose to do it. Just so you know, at the moment I'm using ChronoSync to backup or mirror or synchronize my drives. So remember, save your files all the time. Auto save your files. Make sure you export them in a variety of ways. Make sure you save them and copy them so you have different versions of your work and sync, mirror your files and your drives. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it helpful, let me know. And please leave me a comment. I appreciate it all the time. Subscribe, like, and see you soon.